At the end of the afternoon, all possible doubts begin to fade away, and the fauna that is being studied by Dr. Campos lets itself be seen. She has been among the jacarés for 13 years, and this is not a figure of speech, because her work is not about mere observations from afar and with binoculars. Zilka has to capture them one by one and in the wild to proceed to identify them and analyze certain unknown aspects of their biology, body-to-body -body science. Bloodier tactics were used during the 20th century to capture the jacare along this rosary of lagoons. Today, the doctor and her collaborators avoid bloodshed. The ammunition used against these prehistoric animals is just a series of small starts. Besides jacarés, these waters are also full of piranhas, a voracious little fish. Zilka must not let herself be tempted, because a bath here is not exactly medicinal. Little by little, the marsh loses its jacarés. Therefore, the results of the expedition are a total success. After all the hard work and back on land, each individual will be examined, and above all, the close relationship that exists between these animals and their environment. There are six species of crocodiles in Brazil, of the 22 that exist in the world. For a number of years, Zilka has been establishing acceptable scientific parameters for the authorities, for a real conservation of this species, the Pantanal Jacare. We are developing a study on thermoregulated behavior. The Jacare is an exothermic animal, and its corporal temperature works in relation to environmental variations. If it sunbathes, it will be warmer. And if it takes a swim, its body will assimilate the water temperature. Let's see if the environmental conditions coincide with the animal's corporal temperature. Let's take a reading. The temperature in the water is 31.9 degrees. The doctor is teaching her co-workers everything about the jacare myth, even how to distinguish its genitals. This one is a male. This small woman has undoubtedly won the respect of her co-workers, José Augusto, Bandier, and Barriga. She's a strong and responsible woman. Yes, she puts a great amount of willpower into her work. But she's not very tall. Yes, that's true, but she has the breed. A lot of good traits. What are some of her traits? She's very brave and is courageous enough to walk around by herself at night and stays far away from home observing the jacarés, six or seven kilometers away, and we respect her a lot. Hey, Mariga, the same respect that I have for them. We owe her a deep understanding of these animals. She has also taught us how to work with the jacarés without running too many risks, with precaution and attention because our work is dangerous and an accident can occur. 
But it's different with her, thank God. Everything is going well. Humanism in the heart of nature. Defenders of animal rationale, or not. In today's program, we once again find a team on good terms. The jacarés are more active during the night, and so is this group of researchers. We have to keep up with them, and the insects keep up with us. Our director of photography, Lati Maraña, is aware of the importance that lighting has in our work. Things have to be illuminated, there's no choice. And millions of insects also want to come out on television. The day's work of the members of the Jacare project in Brapa has been interrupted. From nightfall to daybreak, at least 50 jacarés will have been captured. Many are adults that accompany their offspring. This species remains with their offspring during almost a year. These are behaving in a particularly aggressive manner and it would be best to disarm them immediately. Besides, flies don't get into sealed mouths, an important issue in today's program. Dr. Zilka Campus's most important discovery after nights like these is that the temperature that affects the jacare eggs after an incubation period of 60 days will determine the genitals of the newborn. This is how important environmental factors are upon the lives of these animals, and a climatic catastrophe such as the greenhouse effect could unbalance the population scales of these reptiles. No one can be done without in this scheme of things. Not even these disgusting insects that repel us so. These jacarés have Zilka. The turtles have Gaspar. The bats have Rogerio and Aldenora. The rivers and manatees have the zoologists of Manaus. The orchids have João Batista. And even the jungle's atmosphere is being observed by NASA as if it were a shiny, fine gem. It's a fact that the Amazonia is threatened and that thousands of people are watching out for its health with absolute scientific rigor is also an important fact. We still have time Let's regain the road of hope. Pantanao a disturbing name for a distant geography that is the title of our next program. We're going to visit the largest wetlands of the planet to live life as usual. Few are the places that say so much in such a short amount of time, an hour of television to listen to a message from the wild. Our next meeting will take place under wide horizons and profound contexts we will see the legendary Pantaneiros live side by side with a spectacular fauna, varied and untamed. All this in a space of waterlogged land that is independent from the Amazon, but heir to its strength and virtues. Don't forget, we'll be waiting for you in the Pantanal, here on your series, Amazonia, The Last Call.